Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 favorite human hair headband wigs. Y'all know the biggest trend in the wig streaks this year in 2020 was the headband wigs. So with COVID and the lace shortage and everything, a lot of companies start to release headband wigs. The first company that I saw release headband wigs was my first wig in July. I did my review and when they first sent me the email, I was like, what is a headband wig? Like, <laughs> I don't think I'm feeling it. I thought it looked kind of dated because you know, half wigs and headbands have been around for a long time. And that's how I started off my channel with half wigs and stuff. I started wearing half wigs 10 years ago, but I started my channel seven and a half years ago. So, but yeah, that's what I started with was half wigs, but then I got away from them and started wearing lace wigs. When I dropped that video, it was a lot of mixed feelings about it. And there's tons of people that still hate headband wigs. I see it all the time in the wig groups I'm in, but I love them genuinely. They're very convenient and they look good. So a lot of times the headband wigs look more natural than lace wigs in my opinion so i definitely recommend them for everybody but i know everything is not going to work for everybody but i think they look good super convenient they're more accessible to more people because you don't have to fool with any lace I definitely recommend headband wigs so um i'm not going to feature any synthetic ones in this video because honestly i don't have enough synthetic half wig favorites to put in this video so that'll be in the end of the year wrap up so my favorite like wigs in general like headband wigs synthetic wigs human hair wigs lace wigs that video is coming up on december 23rd you guys voted for a christmas pajama theme and that's what we're gonna do in that video so mark your calendars definitely try to catch the premiere when i premiere that video and watch it with the Premiere Squad. So make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are on. And before we get started, we are so close to hitting 150K and that has been my goal for 2020. So let's go ahead and get there, share this video with your friends and family. So this video is not gonna be like in order. These are just like 10 of my favorite human hair headband wigs. So the first one I'm gonna start off with is, I'm gonna, actually just start off with the one I have on. This is the highlighted human hair headband wig from Wow African. I haven't worked with Wow African that much this year. This is probably the second time. And I really like this uh, headband wig. I think they did a great job with the color. And I curled this wig like maybe two weeks ago and I put it in, I put it back in the pack and this is what the curls look like. I think it still looks really good. I just put hit it with some hairspray just so they wouldn't fall like while I was doing my makeup and stuff. And it's beautiful. Now while African is more on the pricier side, so keep that in mind, this is more of a splurge kind of thing. Um, but I think they did a great job with this wig and I really love it. Um, and this is only like my second time wearing it. So that's a big deal. The next one I'm gonna mention is the Her Given Hair Coily 3C to 4A Kinky Curly Headband Wig. Uh, that one was the most popular, you know, video I had this year. I posted that video a week after I actually tried it. I just knew that was like one of the most natural wigs I've ever tried. Um, it's so, so beautiful. If you watch that review, at the end of the video, I told you guys like, I was around my mother and my sister and they were like, oh, your hair looks good. They thought it was my hair and they will tell me the truth, especially my sister when it comes to my hair. So very impressed with that wig. Again, her giving hair, y'all should know, even every time you see her giving hair in the title of a video, it's gonna be expensive and it was beautiful. Now, I will say any kinky curly texture you see on my, you see on my channel or in this video, it's gonna be very high maintenance. So. I did wear a lot early on and then I was like, I have to do this every few days, like refresh the curls and stuff. It was just, it's very high maintenance, but it's very beautiful. So you have to take that into consideration when you purchase it. It's very high maintenance, but it looks so natural and it's so beautiful. You have to treat it like you would natural hair. Um, I still recommend it, but it's very high maintenance and I can be a very, you know, lazy wig wearer. So consider that before getting it. Okay, so 
I have tried probably, probably about 30 different human hair headband wigs by now. Check out the headband wig playlist if you want to see, you know, all of these wigs um, in action and the ones I didn't mention in this video. So the first one I tried was my first wigs Abe. And over time I was like, do I even like the first two that I tried from my first wig anymore compared to the ones that I have tried like recently? And I actually still love Abe and Destiny. So Abe is a like light yakky textured headband wig and it's about 16 inches. So it's a very everyday kind of look and it's a lighter density. So it's not super thick like the ones that I've tried that are kinky straight textures, but I still love it. And I love it for different reasons than I love my kinky straight textures. So in the uh, warmer months, it's not like too much hair. It's not gonna overwhelm you. And it's a wig you wanna wear every day. You can just pop it on. If you flat iron it like one time, you're good to go for that for a couple of days. If you put it if you put it back in the pack, you know, for a while, it's gonna get bent up and stuff. But I still like Abe. I think it's a nice everyday look. And I still love my first wig's Destiny. Even though I haven't worn these two like in a while because I've tried so many. I think Destiny's curl pattern was so gorgeous. And I love the way the curls were nice and juicy, but they weren't shiny curls. Blended well with my with my natural texture. Even though I'm a type 4 texture, it still looked good because it had a, a nice natural luster to it. So, big fan of Abe and Destiny. I have an update video featuring both of those. Show how I wash my headband wigs in that video as well. So, definitely check that out. And another My First Wig I wanted to mention in this video is... My collaboration was with my first wig to create Blossom. Blossom was inspired by one of my favorite synthetic wigs from a few years ago that got discontinued by Model Model, uh, which was Pop Blossom. So I was like, I wanted a headband wig that was inspired by Pop Blossom and we came up with Blossom. And I love it for the fact that first of all, that's my first collaboration with a wig company to create my own wig. So I'm very proud of that, but it also looked like my favorite wig and I haven't had it in about maybe two years and I think they nailed it. It's very similar to Destiny, but I feel like Blossom is a little bit kinkier and obviously Blossom has some color in it. Definitely recommend those three if you're gonna go with my first wig. Some of the best quality, honestly. And if I had to compare like, you know, human hair companies like RPG Show and uh, my first wig are sister companies, but honestly with all the wigs I've tried from both companies, I prefer my first wig. And RPG show tends to be more expensive than my first wig. So consider that, consider that if you're gonna purchase a headband wig or any wig in general, but that's just my personal opinion. I have tried, I think I've tried um, kinky curly textures the most out of all of the headband wigs I've tried. And you know, the one from Her Given Hair is very expensive. So I wanted to see what some of the more budget-friendly human hair headband wigs that were kinky curly were like. And one of my favorite that I would recommend is the My Quality Hair kinky curly one that I tried. It is a, a great dupe and a great alternative for the Her Given Hair one. Um, it's, I think it's like around $150 somewhere in there. I know it's under 200, but it's, it's a great dupe. The one from Her Given Hair runs about $300, somewhere around there, unless they're having a sale or something like that. So keep that in mind. This is December, so a lot of companies are having promotions and stuff like that. But if you want the kinky, curly, human hair headband look, but you don't want to pay those prices, definitely go with the My Quality Hair wig. It's beautiful, looks really good. I was talking to Natural Joy in the comments of that video and she actually, she really loves hers as well. And you guys know she reviews a lot of wigs and she's reviewed a lot of headband wigs. So like that's both of us saying it. So if you're looking to save some coins, definitely go with a My Quality Hair uh, Kiki Curly wig. Even though I love the Her Given Hair one as well, but that's nice too. Um, but it is also a kinky curly wig, so the high maintenance thing is gonna be there as well. Okay, so if you guys don't know, like even before this trend of the headband wigs, I loved kinky straight textured wigs because they just look so natural because my hair, as I tell you guys all the time, is type four and it just looks like that would be my hair when I wear kinky straight textures. So I also have human hair half wigs on this list as well. 
and there is a difference uh, between a half wig and a headband wig. The difference being one has an attached headband and one does not. And the half wigs do offer more versatility and I've said this in previous videos, but you know, I'm just recapping for those who are new here. So the half wigs do offer a lot of versatility so you can blend your own natural hair and do a lot more styling there. And you can get away with wearing, wearing like thinner headbands and stuff like that. So I tried the Nadula Hair Kinky Straight Half Wig about, I think a month ago and I fell in love. I watched uh, Kyra Shine's video on how she blend, how she blended one of her headband wigs that was Kinky Straight with her hair to do a half up, half down style. And we have similar hair textures and I was blown away by her doing that. And I was like, I can do that too because we have similar hair textures um, and like similar lengths with our hair. So I did that and I'm telling you, I was like, this looks like my hair. I love it so, so much. I wore it for family Christmas pictures this year and it was beautiful. I put some wand curls in it, but I think it looks very beautiful just, you know, straight. I'm getting faux locks in like a week or so, but I would wear that wig all the time if I didn't have to do reviews all the time. But blending your hair sometimes like that can be a lot of manipulation, but it, it suited my hair. It matched my hair texture to a T, so it was perfect and I loved it so much. Highly recommend that one. Um, and I had it in like 24 inches, I think, maybe. I think so, I don't know, but it was so beautiful. All right, so I told you guys about the Nadula Hair Kinky Straight half wig, but then I was like, I don't wanna blend my hair every day. I love the hairband wigs because of the convenience. So some days, well, most days I don't wanna blend my hair. So um, another Kinky Straight headband wig that I loved was the My Quality Hair Kinky Straight headband wig. So My Quality Hair is on here twice. I think they have some of the best affordable human hair wigs, whether they are headband wigs or lace, or lace wigs. So I highly recommend that company. It looks so beautiful all down and straight and then I put some long curls in it as well. And I got it in 24 inches, which is, you know, perfect for this time of year because it's a lot cooler and I loved it so much. So, okay, so this particular one didn't have like a whole bunch of crimps in it. Even though I actually do like the crimps and stuff, I don't think it looks bad because, you know, that's how, you know, some natural hair looks. Um, but some people don't like the crimps. I, I didn't feel like it had too many. The one I recently did from Y Wigs had a lot of crimps in it. So if you want an alternative, go with the one from My Quality Hair. Um, I would have featured the one from Y Wigs as well, but I just really like the one from My Quality Hair versus that one. This is kind of surprising and I I just recently rewatched the review and was like, why have I only worn this wig like one time? Why? Uh, it's the Julia hair curly human hair headband wig that I tried a couple of months ago and I had it in 24 inches and it was stunning. In that video, that was the first time I used a wig grip instead of the combs in the wig and ever since I've started doing that, I don't use the combs at all with my uh, headband wig. So that, that wig is so pretty and I need to wash it and start wearing it, especially because it's curly and 24 inches so you know when i reviewed it it was still summertime so now that it's cooler it makes more sense and i won't you know burn up and stuff the look was just so sexy i was just here for it i was just looking at myself like girl you look good um <laughs> and julia hair is another affordable company okay but i did want to save the last one for my absolute favorite but it's also a little bit tragic at the same time. So my absolute favorite human hair headband wig is the Loose Wave headband wig from YG Wigs. I felt so pretty in it when I uh, first reviewed it. It's a gorgeous wig. It's so easy to wear. I have worn this wig so many times just to go to the store. I went to a baby shower with that wig. It's just so beautiful and easy to maintain. Uh, the biggest con about it is that the cap size is so small and I have a big head. And I looked on YG Wigs and I was like, I don't think they have different cap sizes. Like 
that you can choose from. And I was like, oh God, the cap size is so small. So after a while, I do get a headache with it because it's so small. So I'm sure I could stretch it out, but I've worn it so many times. It should be stretched out by now. So that's unfortunate and I'm kind of looking to replace it because it was so tight on because it is so tight on my head but um that's still my absolute favorite even over the her given hair kinky curly one and all of those it's still my favorite because of how it makes me look I think I look beautiful in it and it's super low maintenance like you don't have to refresh the curls every single day it's very beginner friendly and easy to maintain so yeah so the loose wave headband wig from yg wigs is my absolute favorite but yes it's tragic because the cap is so small so i'm going to be on the hunt for a loose wave textured headband wig that is big cap friendly because that one is not and i've worn it more than 10 times and I think I reviewed it probably last month. I think so. And it, it's just so tight on my head. That was my top 10 favorite um, human hair headband wigs. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Talk to me down below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Keep in mind, we are on the road to 150K and we are so close. So tell a friend, tell a friend, tell family members. Share this video as much as you can. Tell me down below what has been your favorite human hair headband wig. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms. They will be listed in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.